Hey Scorpio, it is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and this is your June mid-month reading. These are your deep thoughts for the next two weeks of June. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may apply. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. A general reading is not a substitute for a personal reading. Please don't ever make decisions based on a general reading. This is the general energy for the sign of Scorpio based on the planetary positions in the sky, okay? If you need confirmation, understanding, or any kind of information in your own situation, a tarot card reading is worth its weight in gold, whether it be from me or from your favorite tarot card reader. If you have any decisions to make or if you need further information about any of this, please seek out a tarot card reader and get a tarot card reading before you make any kind of judgment calls or decisions in your life based on a general tarot card reading, okay? Okay, like I said, deepthoughtswithdana.com. Oh, and if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, this channel right here, you can click, click, clink, you can click the link in the box below and it will take you to a special website just for YouTube subscribers where you will get, you will get 50% off of a personal tarot card reading with yours truly. So, <coughs> so 50 bucks, <coughs> sorry, Scorp. So 50 bucks will hook it up just for you, just for your situation. Okay, if you like this video, like it. If you wanna share it, feel free and drop me a comment below. I read every single one of them and reply, okay? All right, so Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Sweet, 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 sweet spot for Scorpios. All right, so what we have here is a bit of a waiting game, a bit of a dilemma. Scorpio being in true Scorpio fashion is watching and waiting and watching and waiting. And this is what this is all about. So you open this reading with the five of wands, right? This five of wands talks to me about um, conflict, right? You enter into this reading with just conflict going on inside of you. This conflict is all about the six of wands. The six of wands is about the success or the viability of the situation, right? And I'm going to be straight up and say that this is some kind of a relationship. It doesn't have to be love, it can be love, it can be family, work, career, whatever, but this is has to do with um, another person, okay? So you come into the reading with conflict with the five of wands, wondering about the viability of a relationship, wondering about the success of the situation with another person. Because with the eight of cups, somebody has walked away in the past. And based on the rest of this reading, I can pretty much say that this person that you're dealing with is the one who has walked away from you in the past. This eight of cups is clarified by the seven of pentacles, right? This is um, reflection and assessment. The Seven of Swords, which is just a shady behavior in general, to the Nine of Pentacles. So this, what you're thinking about is the shady behavior that brought a culmination to this situation with this other person in the first place, brought a culmination to the situation with the Emperor, which is you, Scorpio. Yes, it is the card of Aries. However, in this reading, this Emperor is definitely you. And as a side note, in my readings, the Emperor is half Scorpio and half Aries. Sometimes a little dash of Taurus thrown in there, okay? So that's what you're doing. You have conflict about the viability of a relationship with somebody who has walked away from you, Scorpio, in the past, brought a culmination to the situation. That's what you're reflecting and assessing on, and that's what's bringing you the conflict. The Ace of Pentacles. You would like to manifest a new opportunity with this person. You very much would. However, this is a dual card here. You're wondering if this isn't a lost opportunity as well. The Four of Pentacles says that you are on lockdown mode. And this is interesting. Ah, I'm outside. I don't want my cards to blow. Stop. No. Go away. 
Okay, so this is interesting because um, Aries had a very, very similar reading to this. Um, not quite on point, but very, very similar. Aries is also locked down with the Four of Pentacles, right? In self-protection mode, not moving an inch, just sitting, right? Just sitting. Temperance comes in and, and reiterates just that. You are sitting. You are applying temperance to the situation, moderation, and you are just sitting. Moderation and patience, right? Sitting on the situation. This situation has everything to do with the Queen of Pentacles. If this is not a Taurus woman or an earth sign that you're dealing with, it's somebody that is along the lines of that type of energy. Stable, grounded, um, caring, loving, right? To the King of Cups. You got a lot of feels for this person. Lots of feels for this person. If this is a situation for you, lots of feels for the situation. Okay? To the Three of Wands, this is about waiting. Again, you're just waiting with the Temperance card, the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. You are just kicking back and you're just waiting for it all to play out. This is in the center of your reading, by the way, the Three of Wands. Waiting is the energy of the next two weeks. So you're just waiting, right? You're waiting to see how things unfold in the situation. The moon card says fear, anxiety, and I think this represents not secrets, like somebody's keeping a secret, but I think you're secretly just waiting in the cracks and crevices to see how this is going to play out in true Scorpio fashion. What you're waiting to see is if this person walks away again or not. That's what you're waiting to see. You're waiting to see how this person handles whatever this situation is for you right here. You're waiting to see if this person will walk away again because that's where the fear and the anxiety with the moon card and the eight of swords that follows it. That's where the fear and the anxiety comes from because like I said up top, this person has walked away from the emperor once before. Uh, some shady behavior, whatever it was, I don't know, but this person has walked away from the emperor before. And now, Scorpio, you are just, uh, you're just kind of on lockdown mode, right? You have much feels for the situation, but you're on lockdown mode and you're just watching from your crevices in your big old rock to see how all of this is going to play out. Eight of Swords says, it's all you think about. It's all you think about. You think about it, you know, I'm, 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 I have the feels for this person, but you know, they could kind of gun shy. You know, they walked away before, are they gonna walk away again? Is If there's some kind of conflict, well, there is conflict going on right there with the five of wands. If there's some kind of conflict, you're waiting to see how they handle the situation. The Prince of, of Wands comes in and says that that um, this is um, a, a, a delay, right? A delay because the Prince of Wands regularly would mean um, passionate action forward. But in this positioning, in this reading, this is talking about delays and frustration when it comes to offering your cup of love to somebody, Scorpio. Like I said, you are waiting to see you are waiting to see if this situation is going to bring itself to a culmination or not. You're waiting to see if this person that you're dealing with, this Queen of Pentacles energy, you're waiting to see if they close out this cycle and move on or if they hang around. The magician comes in and says, it reiterates, you are waiting to see what this person manifests in this situation, how they act, what they do, the actions that they take, the things that they say, right? You're waiting to see what this person is going to manifest. If they're going to manifest the closing of a noose of, of the old cycle, if they're going to walk away, or if they're going to create a new cycle. You're just waiting to see. Knight of Wands comes in. This is the same as the Prince of Wands right there, right? Delays. You are holding off on all of this until you see how this person acts. Princess of Pentacles, you are holding off on the offer of a new beginning with this Queen of Pentacles right here until you see how they act. What is on your mind is the broken heart, right? Because you don't want to invest in this situation 
and have the same thing happen again. So you're guarding your heart with that three of swords right there. Again, eight of swords all up in your head. This is all you can think about. You have a real fear of being left out in the cold by this person yet again. Nine of Cups comes in. This is a dual card. This talks about dissatisfaction and it talks about wishes fulfilled. So what you're doing, Scorps, is uh, all caught up in your head, all caught up in your mental, wondering if you're going to be left out in the cold again. And if you are left out in the cold again, then this Nine of Cups is dissatisfaction. If you are not left out in the cold again, then this cup is wishes fulfilled, right? Because you have feels for this Queen of Pentacles. You have the feels, but you're really, really self-protective with that Four of Pentacles, sitting on it with temperance, right? Just waiting and watching. The Seven of Wands says that, that it's a challenge. This whole situation is a challenge for you. The star card, because, <coughs> sorry, it's a challenge for you because with the star card, there's either going to be renewal of this relationship or there is going to be disconnection. Depending upon how this person, how this queen of pentacles acts, you are either going to go forward or you're going to disconnect. Commitment comes in. You're either going to go forward with commitment or you are going to completely and totally take commitment off the, off, off the table. Clarified by the five of cups, right? Despair, disappointment, regret, but nevertheless moving on. So based on how this person acts, if they even show an inkling of wanting to walk away from you again, you're out. You're out. You're out. You're done. You're done. You're disconnecting and you're moving on. But if this person acts the way that you would like to see them act, whatever that might be for your situation, then you would like hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. You would like a new beginning, right? You would like to send passionate messages. You would like to send your cup of love. You would like to send passionate messages again. You would like a new cycle to start. You would like to manifest this into your life, but you're waiting to see what they're going to do. Interesting, Scorpio. Very, very interesting. So the ball is in their court. However they handle this situation is how you are going to handle this situation because you want it, but you don't want, you don't want this. You don't want, you don't want, you know, you don't want it. So you're like a, almost apathetic about the situation. You're like, yeah, you know, I have the feels for you, but I really don't like uh, what you did to me in the past and I am not willing to um, risk that again. You are not worth me risking a broken heart ever again. So if you're in, you're in. If you're not, you're not. I'm apathetic. I could go either way. Doesn't matter to me. There you go, Scorps. That is your reading. Boy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to name this one Crosswatcher Special because whoever you're dealing with needs to know that you're waiting on to, to see their actions, right? Very interesting. All right, Scorpio, that's it. DeepThoughtsWithDana.com. Link in the box below for half-price reading. And namaste, my friends.